All right, guys, I mean, it's not even starting now. I think it's a false economy at this stage not to pop it off and uh, and clean quickly clean the carbs. Just get all that done, drain a bit of fuel, make sure there's no water in there. Uh, so that Gary's ready. The battery's on charge at home, and the charger said it's a good battery. That's good, because the charger tests it. So, uh, all right, carbs off, uh, tank off, carbs off. Quick carb clean. I think it'll be good again. So Bandit 600, 2002, we're going to do a carb clean. No, is it? 2005, wow. Um, Airbox off. It'll help to get this top bit off first. And then we'll take the, these screws off here and we'll take the whole box off the carbs. Because eventually we need to take the carbs off backwards. Pull them out, take all the bowls off, give them a quick clean through. And uh, clean all the jets and we'll be back to where we are. I'll just double check all the spark plug leads and we'll double check all the suction hoses and the fuel hoses little bits of crap but not yeah. no water in there um guys if you're worried about cleaning the carbs we just do one at a time i don't even i don't even want to mess with the the carb heater element so i'm going to do one at a time starting from this side drop the bowl clean the jets back in I'm going to count the air fuel screws, how many turns they're out on each cylinder. They're going to go back in like that. I'm not going to retune them um, because I want to save, I want to save the hassle. Uh, I, I don't think there's any water in that fuel. Good fresh fuel. So this bowl first, clean the jets, clean the bowl, and we'll see what's going on. Guys, this is brilliant and something I missed. Carbs come out. What are these? They're restrictors. They're carb restrictors for a bandit. I can't believe it, Gary. The bike's been 33 brake horsepower for since you've had it. What's the original horsepower on this bike? So when you've been saying, why is it bouncing at the top end? It's bouncing because it's restricted. You were dangerous on this bike <laughs> when it was restricted. Imagine now. Life is going to be great. Are we taking them out? Yeah, of course. Pop them out then. Keep them, Gary, because they'll come in handy. I can't believe that. Uh, we are over here giving the carb clean, but uh, Sultan got in the way. Um, I, exactly what I said. I'm popping everything out, giving it a spray through, and uh, putting it back in. Now, with this at the moment, we don't want to get any spray or cleaner up into the diaphragms up in there. So, pop it all out, spray from the top. Don't spray anything up in that top bit there, because that will go straight to the diaphragms. But you can spray all of these lower areas here and um, that will clean it right up. You can try and take the diaphragms out before cleaning, but sometimes they've swollen already and you won't get them back in. That's a right pain in the arse. So I, I would be tempted with a quick carb clean not to touch the diaphragms. Get down here, pull the jets out, quick spray through, put them back in and carry on. That's my advice. And now with the restrictors out, this thing should, should be a beast, really. Um, Let us know tonight, innit? So lots and lots and lots of work done today, guys. Um, I, I didn't film half enough because we're stuck by time. Um, carb clean. Battery needs... We need a new battery, really. Uh, it should start up. It hasn't got much fuel in there. Yes! Sorry.
remember we took restriction off this bike. I want to test drive it first. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. Right, Charlie's going for a test ride on Gary bike with a full power. It's some more faster. Some more faster than the That's ridiculous. <laughs> What's that, ridiculous? Alright, Gary, your turn. So Gary was on, on a 32 brake horsepower. That was 33 brake horsepower the whole time and we didn't even notice. And I've ridden it, I mean I haven't ridden it much. Yeah. But, but I've gone up and down by here. Already, no? Crazy, crazy, because the difference. Good thing there Gary is it's running, it's riding, it's more powerful than before. Yeah. You know, there's lots of positives. Um, yeah, I mean, nice, uh, quick, quick detailer, guys. I bought this armor shine some years back. I love it and hate it, so I've used it on Gary's bike. <laughs> what I love about it is it does give a really quick, good, deep shine. What I'm not keen on is it, um, it kind of attracts dust. So a few days later, it looks a bit dusty, but that might be me being picky. Um, but, wow, you heard the bike, you saw it and it's at least it's running and riding and gonna get gary home that's the main thing isn't it uh let us know in the comments what you think about this one it uh gary loves his bike uh and gary you'll let us know how the ride was home what would you guys have done differently and um yeah hopefully tomorrow you'll see a bit more a compression test on the piaggio